Hello guys, so welcome back to another brand new video here today upon my channel guys. Today my friends got something a little bit different that I want to share with you all. And this is the Trent's reference, um, the Walters test case. And I see we're going to be playing a the demo of it, literally, because I wanted to try it because I saw another YouTuber playing this. And I was like, you know what, that looks pretty cool. So I'm going to try it. And if you guys like what you see today, then I'll buy the full game and I see we'll give it a go, okay? So, Asitas, with this game, all I know about this game is that it's basically about events that have been going on inside someone's head, and you basically get to replay them. Um, Asitas, it's very pickling, something to do with, like, switching lights and stuff off. Um, obviously, it's published by Ubisoft. And it came out sometime in September, and Asitas, I was thinking, you know what, I was going to record a video on it then, but I completely forgot all about it. And then I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. Since you guys have been seeing a lot of World War II and Black Ops 4 videos recently, I thought, you know what, I'll give this a go and see what you think of it. So, like I said, if you would like it and you want me to play the full game of it, let me know down below in the comment section. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you as I'll get around and buy the full game. And we'll give it a go up on the channel, okay? So, wish me luck with this one. The trans reference. Uh, trans, what was that? Trans reference. Um, the Walters test case. Um... What's this about? Hello. My name is Raymond Hayes. I'm the director of the Brain Data Analysis Research Division here at the university. We're engaged in some very exciting work that we are thrilled to share with you today. You're, you're very lucky to be here. We have been able to create a digital environment that's based on the brain data of a single subject. Um, we'll call him okay. Walter, let's say. Now. This experience will work best if I tell you as little about Walter ahead of time as possible, but I will tell you that he has been diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder. Now, this is the incredible part. When you put on your headset, you will find yourself in a recreation of Walter's memory of this traumatic event. Now, I should say that this technology is very new and imperfect at this stage. Some of the data may be incomplete. Some may even be corrupted. What you are experiencing is a recorded consciousness. It's not unlike watching a movie. So no matter how real it may seem, it can't hurt you. You are completely safe. You are completely safe. In a couple of years, this technology is going to be perfected. It is going to be released in the world and you the very few lucky ones that are here today are going to be able to tell your friends that you were there at the very beginning. And that is incredibly special. So thank you. Okay. Let's see what this is all about then. <laughs> Yo. June 1993? Okay. Yeah, they can, the move sensitivity with this seems a little bit weird. You can tell it's obviously built for VR. Like I said, you can play this VR, you can play it without, but... I am not got a clue what I need to do. I only saw literally like a speck of gameplay on it. And it was just literally in this room, that's all I saw. I was like, okay. And there's a little bit of like a trailer to it. Oh, nice. Baseball glove. Yo, bro, you okay? To the fucking army, and we got nothing. You okay? We were nothing to you. Nothing but a pair of fucking punching bags. <laughs> Yo, that guy's got issues. <laughs> He's pulling guns out on people. Okay, so we can't get down the staircase. That guy doesn't seem very friendly. 
But why have I got the key then? The, the room's open, so I've got the key, so... What's this key to? This is I'm assuming this is meant to be the basement, but... Can we go back down here? Bro, can I talk to you? What do we need to do? That kid messed with the light switch. Can we do something with the light switch? Uh, I don't know what to do, guys. Football magazine. Well, American football. It is definitely American. Where the the setting of this game is based in. Okay. Uh, what's this? Ted's cap. Whoever Ted is. Yo. Yo, bro. Yo, we jump back in time again. Yo, kid. You okay? Daddy, remember how we used to play blocks? S who's Scott? Don't come in. Bad things will happen. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> I just want to know if you know what the hell's going on here. Kind of confused. I am got a clue where your blocks are. Leave your message after the tone. Hello. That weird guy down here again? No, 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 he's not here, he's not here. So I'm guessing every single time we switch the light switch off, it's just gonna take us back either into the future or back in time. Depending on where we currently are. What the hell? Scott and Ted. I'm guessing we're are we playing as Ted? Is he like Scott's dad or something? I'm guessing. Guessing the kid, guessing that little kid who we saw at the beginning just randomly turned the light switch off. I'm guessing that's meant to be Scott. Okay, so what do we do with this picture? Why am I carrying a picture? Hello? Oh, that's weird. Yo, look at the ceiling. Scott's blocks. Okay. Yo, why is there like glitchy things on the ceiling? Oh, look at that. I've got like glitchy table on the ceiling. What's that all about? Okay. There's a missing photo. Oh, okay. Daddy, is that you? Um, yeah, it's me. You okay? You're not supposed to be here. Can't believe I what do you mean I'm not supposed to be here? Some goddamn hero. You couldn't see You okay? <laughs> Can't believe I look like that. Some this guy is violent as hell. Couldn't save his own family. We're not even a family. We're a bunch of goddamn POWs. Is that maybe like Scott from the future or something? That's what I'm trying to think. Are we were we like a bad person or something? And maybe that kid Scott like became the way this Ted guy is. I'm guessing something like that. Yo, a radio. Yo. Oh, that is my ears. Yo, this game's like really yeah, pickling me right now. Like, I haven't got a clue. But hopefully you're all enjoying it so far, guys. If you are, then give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I would really, really appreciate it. Oh, they're like Jenga blocks. Okay, so where the hell do we need to go? I don't... I'm so confused right now. A 
Okay, kid, I hit you the first time. Can you, like, shut up, please? <laughs> I don't even know what I need to do. I'm in, like, a weird room. Floating Jenga, blo uh, Jenga blocks. Oh, hang on. It keeps coming up with these, like, pixelated door things. What's all that about? Kind of confused right now, guys. I don't know what I need to do. But this game seems pretty good, though. It's very head pickling, but pretty good. Oh, hang on. Oh, okay. I'm going to pretend that I knew what to do there, but okay. I'm going to take that. Ah! Yo. Thank you for your participation. Okay. Is that it? Is that all the beta is? Well, the beta, I mean the demo is. I guess that was it, guys. Um, but that was the demo to the trans reference, um, the Walters test case. If you enjoyed what you've seen, you want me to play the full game, then let me know down below in the comment section. It was... A very weird experience, but at the same time, it was a lot of fun. Like, it seems like one of them games is going to have a really, really good story to it. There's a lot of hidden story in there. I think I picked up a few bits of it along the way. Like, obviously, I'm guessing we played as the character Ted. Scotty was the kid. And then you see, like, an older version of him became some murderer or something. Um, I'm guessing he hated his father or something. That's why I probably kept trying to shoot me with a shotgun. Um, I'm not sure what happened with the mother situation. Maybe she, those two broke apart or something. But, it's a very, very interesting game, and I want to know your thoughts and opinions on what you think of it. If you enjoyed it, like I said guys, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Make sure you turn on the post notification icon, it'll notify you when I upload any new content in the nearby future, whether it's on this, Call of Duty World War 2, Black Ops 4, or anything else guys. I've got plenty more videos still coming your way, so keep your eyes and your ears locked onto the channel. Have a marvellous day, and I'll see you again real soon.